everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Oh, yes. Nice to see you. On this lovely Friday. Friday. It's the weekend. <laughs> this is the longest possible time before more work. Act. <laughs> yes, you are so right. Yes, the work day is done. The weekend mm -hmm. begins. It's very exciting. And it's needed. It is. It is Over needed. here, anyway. It's been... <laughs> Yeah, it's been a busy week. You would have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. A week. It has been a week. But you know what? We're going to have fun tonight. We're going to get caught up with some chit chat. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a chit chat video in a while, huh? Not just chit chat. No, no we, we just haven't. Much talked. Yeah. But yeah. what else have we had from the such chit chat? Well, I figured since it's a rainy day, it's a rainy day today, mm -hmm. we are going to. Um, Go into the kitchen and make some soup. Soup. We are. I enjoy soup. As you can see. Someone says hello. <laughs> he just got caught up in the cord. <laughs> yeah, he got tangled. So we had to... <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. So I thought that'd be fun. Go make some soup. We've had a lot of requests for more soup recipes. Yeah. So. This is one I've never had before. Yeah. I never made it for you before. And I don't know it's, why. It's good. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's one of my favorites. So. so, so anyway, speaking of weeks, how was your week? My week? Well, I've had better. Um, I've had worse. I'm done with Topamax at this point. Yes, we he have is. broken up. He is. I'm not going back over with wine and cigarettes in the middle of the night trying to win it back. It's over. You know, I have to say, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of him for sticking to this. Coming off, if you've never experienced coming off of any type of psychotropic or mental health drug it, mm -hmm. it it's 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 rough yeah it's rough the because it's are, yeah, yeah the symptoms it's like it's be it's there's some physical there's some mental there's mm -hmm. some you know it, it's it's long yeah. and it's it's rough and you stuck to it so i stuck that's really uh and that's so, really good and i had an appointment with my shrink by phone mm -hmm. yesterday and yeah. we just touched base about that so she's like okay unless anything terrible happens i'll see you in a few months mm -hmm. so now no changes for a couple months mm -hmm. and then we're going to start in on maybe the next med see about but we have to every time we change it we have to break in the middle to see if i'm okay uh, oh yeah and then if course, i'm still yeah. okay we try the next thing you right, know. right ultimately right, right. we'll hit a point where i probably have a minimum amount needed per day which i'm fine yeah i'm not opposed to pills at all mm -hmm. i'll take them you yeah. know give me more yeah it's good that you're getting off of these though because hopefully that'll maybe fit into the 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 twitching and the involuntary movements that's you my know? hope that's my hope let's hope so anyway we have a kitty on the run yeah, he's on the table, and he's not allowed on the he's table. He's not allowed. Daddy hey, doesn't hey. let him on the table. Hey. He knows. Look. <laughs> he got off. <laughs> there he goes. He was still on the tail. <laughs> he's been a high point of the week. No, it was yeah, rough. he's on... been a good comfort animal. Yeah, it's a, it was on the rough side this week. My aunt died the day before yesterday, my dad's sister. Yeah. And then um, my mother's, one of her best girlfriends, who might as well have been like an aunt, yeah. you know, um, she passed away this morning, yeah. so it's been a lot for family, friends, mm -hmm. you know, to to connect and and whatnot. So, yeah, no yeah. Fu no funerals probably. I don't know. I, no, they're gonna have a funeral for my mom's friend. I don't know what's happening with my aunt. Mm -hmm. She lives in Florida mm -hmm. or Maryland. She's not any the, not anywhere local, up yeah. here. Yeah. No, we wouldn't drag her into the home cemetery. Right, you know, right, wherever she enjoyed life, we'd rather, <laughs> yeah, 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 see it from there on out. But yeah. it's my dad's sister, and she was the younger one, I think, mm -hmm. and she had cancer, and they cut her open, and that's it. Then it and that's it. Once yeah, you cut yeah. a person open with cancer, it can be hard. Yeah. So there's grieving on that. Talk to my mom more though, just to stay in touch. Had my weepy, just so you guys know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you don't have to die without me saying you were great, Perry. I did this when somebody <laughs> else died. Oh, my uncle died <laughs> earlier in the year. Yeah. Because we're just thin in the herd, I guess, in the family. Yeah. Well, they say it comes in threes. Yeah. My, well, my grandmother always says it comes in threes. My she mother always, always said said that. it comes in threes. Yeah. Everything yeah. comes in threes. Everything, right? Everything. Absolutely. Yeah. So then I'm trying to think, well, do I already know the third person? Or can I count back one and add them mm -hmm. to make it complete? That's what we did with To make uncle. the spell complete. Yeah. yeah. We pulled my uncle in to say that he was That's one the of the three, three okay. unfortunate deaths you know, that happened. You know. Yeah. Um. So we'll see. But it's sad for my cousins. Because, you sure know, she was like my dad, but. Yeah. 
a woman. She was a nurse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smoked, of course, which didn't help things. Right. But, um, yeah. Right, right. right. Well, just and then, it. of course, you know, uh, coming off of the medication, too. I'm a little sensitive to everything. To everything, so, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just like, oh, I'm sad. I think, you know, my aunt died. How unfortunate. Yeah. It's like, what if everyone in my life dies? What yeah. am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Not me. I'll be dead. <laughs> I'll be gone. And if I can haunt, I'll leave you signals. Okay, yeah. I'm going to haunt you, too, so... We'll probably be together towards the end if it's a, you know... Yeah. Whatever. Just whisper to me what you'll leave as a signal. Okay. No cardinals. No pennies. Okay, no. I right, think I told no. you empty the ashtray. I'll okay. know if y'all know. Oh, yeah. The, ma- the ashtray will just magically be yeah. empty. That's if, me. If there's an afterlife, that's the secret message. Okay, that that's, works. That's uh, the cantaloupe in the fridge that okay. Rose did. Yes. <laughs> it was the Charlie. fruit salad. Fruit salad. Oh, the cantaloupe's on one side. Yeah. Was that it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that works. Maybe yeah. we'll do that. Because we have fruit salad in the house so often. Well, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. I enjoy yeah, fruit, you like but it goes quick. You like fruit a lot more than I do. I do. I don't particularly care for vegetables, but I try to keep a relatively high fiber diet just to keep everything in check. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't like taking like fiber supplements or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So usually, even though I'll eat crap and gain weight, there's still in all of that a high amount of fiber mm-hmm. in my diet just to make other things yeah. more comfortable. Yes, yes. And, and better. Yeah. And I have a, I literally have like a, what is it? A, what do they call it? Um, when a person, <laughs> I can't oh, think of it. Oh no. Oh no. I have no idea what you're talking about. When a person like has a very low tolerance for pain, very, very, very low tolerance for pain. And then something's painful. Like, like not dr- dramatic isn't dramatically the word. emotionally uh, dramatic now because well, yeah. well it looks dramatic if you you know but just low tolerance for low pain. tolerance low tolerance yeah. for pain yeah my burnt ass what, not the burnt ass what, what do you smacked ass ass pats there's so many that go around I couldn't tell you I, I if have, it comes up I have no idea what he's talking if it comes about up at all. In the, do you in do a, you guys. <laughs> If you do, comment below and let me know, okay? It's been a week, okay? Yes, it has. And um, that's that's pretty much what mm-hmm. the week has been. Work was work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I had to go to a place, to a halfway house and look at some stuff mm-hmm. um, with a colleague. Mm-hmm. And then the police were at work today for an incident. So. Which is always fun. Yeah. Especially when they park in the middle of the street. <laughs> Of a street that's a one <laughs> lane, one yeah. way. Yeah, double parked. Well, they're the, they're the fuzz. They're allowed to do that. Well, that's that's smug. <laughs> that's <laughs> that smug. Is. Smug and entitled. It is that's uh, smug and entitled. It is. I yep. mean, I had an okay week. I mean, it was it was very hectic at work. Things are yeah. like really. Um, they're hectic at work. I don't yeah. know how else to explain it. It's just, it's very, um, it just seems like there's a lot of crazy things happening recently, right? Yeah. It feels like time is going by very fast, mm-hmm. and then it's sprinkled with all kinds of crazy stuff. My, my a colleague of mine, yeah. a, a close colleague of mine, had an electrical um, surge at her home from the transformer outside. Mm-hmm. It went into her home, and it fried all of her electrical appliances. Everything that was plugged in. Yes. And they, and like, so she had no electric, no water, no, mm-hmm. no anything. And when they removed, like, removed the, the switchboards from the wall. Yeah. The wires were all bl- fried. All mm. the wires in the wall. So she has a huge, uh, well, I don't know what you would call it. I mean, she has a lot like, to clean up. You mean like, like a do-over. A of do-over of system. all the electrical system. <laughs> yeah. Her microwave, her, uh, even the fr- Everything was fried. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I don't understand how this can happen. Aren't we protected? Like, aren't, isn't there like main surge protectors coming from the street? So they called PPNL, the electric company. They came out and Mm -hmm. they're like, yeah, this does happen. It happens more frequently than you think. Mm -hmm. And then, so now she's all paranoid, right? She does, like, she has a cat. She's afraid to be home. And go to sleep. And then she's afraid to be away from home. Yeah. yeah afraid of it's going to happen again. And she's constantly smelling burnt, like elect- that electrical burnt smell. Yeah. So it was quite like, I you know saw the pictures and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just awful. Like, <laughs> yeah. it would be so awful. But anyway, like, like, so that my point was, it just seems like 
Well, it seemed like mm-hmm. this week there was a lot of odd stuff like that happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I don't know. Candy ass. That's what I meant to call myself. There we go. About, now about that stuff. Circle. I knew it was okay. coming. I was listening, Candy but ass. I was still kind of half thinking over on this side. Like, what the <laughs> hell was I saying? I gotta, <laughs> okay. I gotta wrap that up. So. <laughs> well, that's yeah, what that's I meant. It. That's okay. what I meant. I'm feeling more candy ass yeah. this week because I'm yeah. a little more volatile. Gotcha. I It'll gotcha. go away, but for right now. Mm-hmm. And two, the weather has been up and down. We, we The weather's been beautiful. It has. It's been sunny and warm, and I've been out in the garden. It was so nice. Yeah. But um, we like just yesterday and watch. today, it's been... It, 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 it would rain for a few hours, then the sun would come out, then it gets all gray for mm-hmm. a few hours, then the sun comes out. Today, until 7 p.m., we had a tornado and severe storm watch, mm-hmm. and we did get, we got one big storm. We got one big... With a lot of wind. No tornadoes, though. No. But and that's past us now. Those cells are, but it looks a little dark out even to be yeah, this it's, time of night, it's, so... It's, uh, it's gray, and, you know, and uh, apparently it's going to be like this for most of the... Next few days, anyway, like yeah. you know, up down, up down. So but that so- like plays on your head. We're soaring into the nineties, though, too. We are. Yeah, it's gonna. It's the hot weather's a coming. It's, it's coming. a coming. We had snow less than a month ago, mm-hmm. didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. We had snow, we had less snow than in a month April. Ago, but now did. it's going to be ninety degrees tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's coming up on summer. That's true. It is. But in, but anyway, the rain. Oh my gosh! So the rain comes down, and instantly I want comfort. Food. Mm. Perfect segue, right? Exactly. Always thinking, always thinking. Go ahead, say it. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're brilliant. Okay. Yes. God damn it. And you're so humble, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I thought, what would what is better comfort food than a nice bowl of soup? Right? Soup does it. So we're going to go into the kitchen. Okay. And we're going to make some creamy vegetable soup. Mmm. Everybody. Okay, so I'm about to share with you uh, actually one of my favorite soup recipes of all time. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't shared it before this. Now, Progresso made a version of this soup that actually wasn't too bad in like a quick pinch, you know, but I haven't been able to find it in quite some time. But that's okay, because that just means we have to make it homemade. Yes, we're going to make some creamy vegetable soup. So awesome. I think you're going to love it. So let's get started, shall we? I have my mise en place all going here. Oh, yeah. We're getting a little technical now, huh? Mm. Okay. For those of you who don't know what it is, mise en place is just like the backbone of every chef out there. It just means everything you need for whatever recipe you're doing, you have it all ready to go. And I do. All right. So, all right, let's get started. So over here in my large stock pot, I melted two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. And I added my um, mirepoix to it. Oh, yeah. Another technical term there. (laughs) Okay. That's just carrots, onions, and celery. And in here, we have a cup and a half of each, and they're all about a medium dice, okay? I have that on a medium-high heat, and I had it sauteing for about five to six minutes, okay? So, next, we're going to add about two cloves of garlic, or about two tablespoons of minced garlic. We're going to add that right to it like that. And then we're going to do a hefty pinch of pepper, and a hefty pinch of salt, and we're going to give that a stir, and let that cook until the garlic is nice and fragrant, about one minute. Uh, Perfect, perfect. Okay, so next we are going to add some herbages. Okay, so right here I have a tablespoon of dried Italian seasoning, and here I have two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. Oh yeah, yum, yum, yum. And then to that, we're going to add our potatoes. Now I have one large russet potato here, uh, which is about a cup and a half all diced up like this. So you want to dice it up to about a medium dice as well, and uh, give that a little stir there. Okay, perfect, just nice. (laughs) And then we're going to add 
six cups of vegetable broth. You can add that all at once, just like that. Now, feel free to switch it up. If you only have chicken broth, go for it, that's fine. But this is a vegetable soup, remember, so I'd recommend vegetable broth, okay? So next, we're gonna turn our heat to medium high. Dun, dun, dun. And we're gonna bring that to a boil, reduce the heat to medium, cover it, and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, at the 10 minute mark, yep. We are going to add one more little uh, pinch of salt there, one more pinch of pepper, and then we're gonna add a nice sprig of thyme in there. You see, we're building those flavors as we go along. <laughs> and then we're going to add some fresh broccoli. Yep, I have about a cup and a half to two cups of just the florets here. I'm gonna add those right in there. And then we're gonna give that a stir. Okay, and we're gonna let that continue to cook. Put that back here there and while that's cooking let's make our cream mixture okay okay so in um in a different in a different pot here i have uh six tablespoons of butter which i had melted down over medium heat and to that we're going to add six tablespoons of flour just like that and then we're going to kind of like we're going to whisk that up and we're going to continue stirring like this um, for about a minute to a minute and a half until it just starts to bubble a little bit, okay? All right, I think we're ready. And yep, we are. Got some little bubbles going there. It's a little bit golden, just perfect. Okay, so at this point, we are going to add four cups of whole milk. We're gonna add that gradually while whisking, just like this. And we're gonna continue doing that until we add all of our milk. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna continue to cook this, stirring pretty constantly there until, the, uh, until our mixture uh, gets nice and hot and starts to thicken up just a little bit, okay? And there we are. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I hope you can see that. There we go. Okay. So at this point, we're going to stir in one cup of heavy cream. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna bring that back up to temperature. Should only take about a minute or so, okay. And uh, then we're going to remove that from the heat, okay? So, uh, oh, let's check and see how our soup's doing. Okay. Ooh, look, it's looking good. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, so now where we are at, we're going to fish out our thyme sprig there. Okay, we'll just set that on the side there. And to this, we're going to add some corn and some green beans. Now, I cheated and got one can of each, okay? If you have fresh, definitely use it, okay? And both of those cans were drained. There we go there. Y'all, I can't wait to make this recipe in the middle of summer. I can go right out to the garden and, and grab all the vegetables. Oh, I can't wait. All right, give that a little bit of stir. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and this is the point. Oh yeah, where we're gonna add our cream. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, okay, and then give that a nice thorough stir there. Oh man, this is so fragrant, I can't wait. Okay, so now, you guessed it, another pinch of salt and another pinch of pepper there. Okay, give that one last stir. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so at this point, we're gonna bring that back up to a boil one last time, and then we're gonna reduce the heat to low, okay? And I'll see you then. A few moments later. Oh, we're looking good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So at this point, for the coup de gras, 
Did I pronounce that right? I don't know. Anyway, for the finishing touch, oh yeah, three cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Oh yes. Now I have a mixture in here. I had to get rid of some cheese I had in there. So I have some, uh, let's see, I have some New York cheddar and I have some Vermont white cheddar and I think that's it in there. But uh, any type of cheddar you like, go ahead and add it there. You want three cups of it shredded. We're gonna add that in right now. And we're gonna stir it until it's nice and melted and all incorporated all through there. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. Okay, and then you know what? At this point, after it's all nice and melted and you know, give it a little taste test and add salt and pepper according to your tastes, if it needs it, if it doesn't, and uh, that's it. That's our creamy vegetable soup. And this recipe, oh my gosh, you can tailor it to however you wanna do it too, right? Swap out some of those vegetables. Have some zucchini, add it in there. You like peas, add them in there. You can even use frozen veggies if you want, okay? So uh, I think I might, uh, oh yeah, that's ready to go. So I think we're gonna have to put some of this in a bowl and give it a little taste test. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. And more than that, I hope you give it a shot, okay? All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs> mm. it's good it's good and mm -hmm. it, it's one of my favorite soups and i said I'm, very, I, very, very I said i was surprised we hadn't shared it yet you know because yeah. i used to but i haven't made it in years like and i used to make it all the time i love this soup. it's very oh good. my gosh it is so good i do okay full disclosure i made this wednesday okay <laughs> we filmed it. it on wednesday yeah. and every night wednesday night thursday night and tonight we're having it again it, it, yeah. it's that kind of soup it, you, it is you're seeing good. us on friday but this soup's been around it has <laughs> been since wednesday it was really and good. we had a gallon of it, and it's going fast. Yeah, I know. It's a large recipe. Yeah. I've never so, had a creamy uh, vegetable soup. Before. No, never? Uh, it's a first, and it's Well, my years favorite. ago, I don't know if they still make it, but years ago, Progresso made a creamy vegetable soup, and I loved it. And out of a can It was very, very good. And then they, I, I haven't been able to find it forever, you no, know, I but it was very either. good. Mm-hmm. And this is this well, I mean this is this better. Is still better it's still better homemade. homemade, yeah. So it's good. But I'll um I'll go ahead and put that recipe up on Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. if you want to screenshot it or download it or whatever. And you can mix and match vegetables and you can do it. Oh yeah, you, you can you can mix it, it up. There's oh, room, yeah. there's wiggle room. And if you don't need ten servings, <laughs> cut it down. I'm... Definitely cut it in half. It's God, easy yeah, to so cut in half. Soup. I know. Yeah. But we give it to everybody, but we didn't this. We didn't No, we usually give away at least didn't. a couple quarts of it. And we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> But I've been trying to do, um, we, well, you know, we've been kind of, I don't know, trying to try different things out on the channel and stuff like that. And, um, the recipes that we do that we put in videos, I'm trying to make them a little better. I'm trying mm. to, I don't know. I know this one was like eight or nine minutes long. I'm trying to make them a little shorter mm -hmm. and then, you know, put like the ingredient. I don't know. I'm trying to make them a little bit better. And then later on, we were thinking of releasing them as a video like a standalone separately yeah so it's just the recipe video in a recipe playlist yeah i think that'll be a good idea i think it is it streamlines it and i think people who just want to look for recipes and not necessarily yeah. us can use it as a resource so i'm starting so to save them anyway. like separately and then <coughs> we could just do a quick little intro to it and it'll just be the recipe so mm -hmm. i think that's the next thing we may may try to do but anyway yeah. you know and i'm trying to be like more a little more a little more technical, a little more per at least proper and mm -hmm. you know safety first. And unlike some uh, people, unlike <laughs> right, you all know who we're talking. Unlike Edward Scissorhands, oh, exactly. Yes, <coughs> Mister. Uh, Where are the knives going? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. So you know, I, I was thinking. Well, I, we're talking about chef. 
he could cut his finger off and would still say it was part of the recipe. It was part of it. I, I totally meant to do that. I had too many fingers, entirely too many. Uh, you know, seriously, though, it gets me actually very angry when I watch it. It's, it's Chef Natter. You guys know who we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, it Nads. makes me, I can't, I, it makes me so angry. And it's because of this, you know. He's presenting something to people who may not know how to cook or may not know how to make that particular dish or, or, that lasagna. or, or whatever. And it's wrong. I mean, he claims to be an experienced, certified chef. This is not a chef. The, the things that he does, the safety issues, I, I can't. I just, I just can't. It, it makes me so angry. You know, you mm -hmm. have, it's not. Well, it's your trade, too. I mean, it's what you spent the bulk of your career doing, so you know... Over 25 years. You know I, what looks like skill yeah. and what looks like... I know how to use a knife. Poser. I know how <laughs> to make a hollandaise sauce. I know how to do these things, and when I see somebody who's telling other people how to do it incorrectly and unsafely, it... Oh, it makes me so angry. Oh, my okay. gosh. Thank heavens for that. Did you see the... What's her name? The new Mary... Uh, Mary uh, Cab MC. Yeah, Mary, Mary Cab, Cab MC. Space MC. Fabulous channel. We love her. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm so glad that someone is finally kind of exposing him yeah. and, and, and and not only exposing him, but, you know, pointing out where his, where he's doing wrong. Like, yeah. th because he's... Someone will get sick. I've they both seen did. it. That chicken well, soup. they did. They yeah. did get sick. What am I saying? And then he wouldn't eat hers, Kel Surprise. Yeah. I'm so. thinking about doing like a little, uh, maybe a compilation, like, you know, how he does my way or whatever, you know, like, my is my way. resume my way? I'm thinking about like showing the proper way of making it. Yeah like the things that he's making safe and and proper you know and yeah. uh, i think we could have fun with it what do you think I, i'm gonna ask you okay so we'll, we'll take we'll see if you guys want to see that or not because you know i don't like to do stuff like that but i can't take it anymore oh I but he has can't. it coming he's not redeemable and it's he, really in any way in like, any way at all so it makes him fodder and for reaction. you know screw her too for blowing his ass up and telling him that the food was good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, you can use moldy tomato paste. Of course you can. And for the mat matter of fact, let's tap the, the spatula on the garbage can and continue to use it. Oh, it's stuff like that. Drives me nuts. Yeah. She's a home <laughs> cook, though. Well, I'll cut her slack. She's a home cook? Yeah, she is not. She's not a chef, nor pretending show it to be. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I just went on a little <laughs> rant okay. there. I so apologize. Oh my gosh, but we could have fun with that. It could be fun. It could be. It could be good. <laughs> good, wholesome, clean fun. It could. All right. I think we talked your ear off enough. I didn't mean to talk so long. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for yes, watching us. thank you. Do try the soup. Absolutely, yes. And if you can throw it in, like, the Instapot or have a different way of going about it, share the wealth. Share the oh, info. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, so thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, mm -hmm. on our email contact info. All that's below as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you again, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. For one Miss Hootie Beauty. Speaking of. <laughs> Speaking of waking up behind dumpsters, I think Natter was oh, cooking shit. again. Oh, so. oh, oh, no, he wasn't, was he? He is, well. I can't, I can't, I just can't. Okay, yes, thank you everybody for spending your time with us. It means mm -hmm. the world to us. You have a fantastic weekend, mm -hmm. and remember to stay positive, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> I want more.